Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Teacher Mars, and today's video we will discuss about solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. The square root of a positive real number can be positive or negative. Thus, in order to avoid confusion on what square root is being asked, the positive square root or principal square root of a positive real number x is denoted by the square root of x, while negative square root of a positive real number x is denoted by negative square root of x. If both square roots are required, the notation becomes positive and negative square root of x. For instance, positive and negative square root of 16 plus equals positive and negative 4. So we all know that the square root of 16 is 4 and we just copy positive and negative sign. This is one method that can be used to solve quadratic equations. It states that if x squared is equal to c, then x is equal to positive square root of c or x is equal to negative square root of c, where c is a real number. So in words, to solve for x in the quadratic equation of the form x squared is equal to c, Take the square root of both sides of the equation. So in numbers, x squared is equal to 17. So to take or to cancel out the degree of 2, we take the square root of both sides. So cancel x squared, cancel the square, then the answer is x. So the answer is x is equal to positive and negative square root of 17. So in algebra, if x squared is equal to c and c is a positive real number, then x is equal to positive and negative square root of c. Using square roots to solve x squared is equal to c, solve by extracting the square roots. So example, x squared is equal to 64, so we have to find the value for x. So we have here the solution, x squared is equal to 64, so to cancel out squared, we have to take or write both sides square root. So bring down the value for x. So 64 square, square root of 64 is, okay, so the answer is x is equal to positive and negative 8. So the solutions are 8 and negative 8. So to find out if it is correct, we have here the checking. So x squared is equal to 64. So by using or by substituting the value for x, which is the positive 8, so we have to bring down 8, 8 squared is equal to 64. So 8 squared is equal to 64 equals 64. So the answer is correct. x squared is equal to 64. So we take or we substitute the value for negative 8. And negative 8 squared is equal to 64. So the answer is correct. So we have here x64 is equal to 64. So they are equal. While using the negative 8, 64 is equal to 64 and they are equal. So the solutions are 8 and negative 8. So another example, using square roots to solve quadratic equations. So we have here solve the quadratic the ex, by extracting the square roots. So we have here an example, x squared plus 6 plus 6. So solution, we have here x squared plus 6 plus equals 6. So we have to subtract 6 from both sides. So x squared plus 6 minus 6 equals 6 minus 6. So the answer is x squared is equals to 0. So to cancel out 
is squared, we have to write both sides is square root. So the answer is x is equal to 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. So the solution is 0. So we have to check if it is correct or not. So x is squared plus 6 plus is equal to 6. So we have to substitute the value for x, which is 0. So the answer is x o to the second power is equal to 0. So the answer is 0 is equal to 0. So the solution is 0 and it is correct. So we have here another example. 9x squared plus 16 is equal to 0. So we have here the solution. 9x squared plus 16 is equal to 0. 9x squared plus 16 minus 16 is equal to 16 because we have to subtract 16 from both sides. So to cancel out 9, we have to divide both sides by 9. So 9x squared divided by 9 is equal to x squared. Negative 16 is divided by 9 is equal to negative 16 over 9. So to cancel out the squared or the degree of 2, so we have to take the square root of both sides. So cancel out. The answer is x. And the answer, the final answer is positive and negative is square root of negative 16 over 9. So the answer will not be a real number because it has a negative 16 or negative sign. So there is no real solution since the square root of a negative radicand is an imaginary number. Another example is 2x, 2 times x plus 4 squared is equal to 18. So we have here the solution. So divide both sides by 2 to cancel out 2. So the answer is x plus 4 squared, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So to cancel out um, degree of 2, we have to take the square root of both sides. So cancel out. The answer is x plus 4 and the square root of 9 is 3. So the answer is x plus 4 equals positive and negative 3. So to find the solution for the first solution and the second solution, we have here the formula. So x plus 4, we take first the positive 3. And x plus 4, we take the negative 3 because we have 2 sine. So x plus 4, neg negative 4 is equal to 3 minus 4. So the answer is x is equal to negative 1. So another for solving the negative 3. So x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to negative 3 minus 4. So the answer is x is equal to 7. So the solutions are negative 1 and negative 7. So another example is solve the following quadratic equation and we have to check the solution. So x squared is equal minus 49 is equal to 0. So that's it. that is an example. So we have here the solution. x squared is equal to 49. So to cancel out degree of 2, so we have to take both sides by the square root. So bring the cancel out the square root and we have to bring down the, the x and for the square root of 49 is positive and negative 7. So the solutions are 7 and negative 7. So we have to do the checking. X squared is equal to 49, so we have to substitute the positive 7 to X, and the 7 squared is equal to 49, so 49 is equal to 49. And we, are, we take the negative 7, so negative 7 squared is equal to 49 is equal to 49, so the solutions are 7 and negative 7. So that's all for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and watch my videos. Thank you very much. This is Teacher Morris and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.